there, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the AOA Plush Faux Make Brush Set. This is how it looks like. It comes with a brush holder and there's 10 brushes. This set is retailed for $10 and it does come with 10 brushes along with the brush holder. There's 5 base brushes and then 5 smaller brushes. I'm going to try my best to use as much of these brushes as I possibly can. I know that with the eyes, I'm going to have to use more brushes. So I'm going to incorporate the Paw Paw eye set with this too. If you guys do see any pink brushes, then just know that it is part of the other line which I've already done review for. I'll link it down below if you're interested in watching it. So let's go into each individual brushes and see how they look like and what's the number. Many miles away from home Steps were difficult I'm exhausted But I did not fall I hope Something good is coming up Free like a bird but also bound And my footsteps on the ground I raise my head Listen to the sound I'm happy with what I have found Just breathe Just Just breathe, just breathe. So like I said, I'm going to try to use as much of these brushes as I possibly can. I know that with just five eye brushes, it's not going to be enough to do an actual eye look. So like I said, I'm going to incorporate the other brush set into this. So without any further ado, let's start.
face has got me mesmerized The touch of your hand, you got me paralyzed You are perfect in every way Cause you are something of a masterpiece You're all that I dream of when I fall asleep You show me the way, the way that I believe The way that I believe Okay, so this is the final look. Okay, so let's go into the pros and the cons with these brushes. First pro with these brushes is that there's an equal amount of face brushes and eye brushes. You're not just getting all face brushes, you're getting half face and half eyes. You can do actually a full face of look with this. And I've tried and I think I've only used three, four other brushes that's not in here from the other set. Another pro about these is that they're really soft. I've washed them and they're still really, really soft. These are faux, so it's not harming any animals. These brushes, they blend really well. I really like the way they blend it out. As you can see, my eye look, it looks really nice. The way they blend it out was really nice. And if you don't know, Shop Miss A only carry cruelty-free items. They don't carry any sort of non-cruelty products. So everything you see on their website is all cruelty-free. Another pro is that, is that it does come with a brush holder. So it's very nice for you to just put your brushes in here and go. These brushes are full size compared to the white one. I'll give you an example of the blending brushes. They are full size. You won't really have to worry about them being just travel size. Either way, it's up to you if you like your brushes shorter or you like your brushes longer. The last pro is that these are black. They're not white, so you won't have a hard time washing them like the white one per se. But at the same time, these are really cute too. If you see, they're black with pink accent. So for the cons, it's up to you to decide whether you still want these brushes after hearing the cons. I'm just letting you know there are pros and cons and it's up to you to choose if you still want them or not after knowing all the pros and cons. Okay, so the first con for me is that there isn't a lot of detail brushes. There's three big blending brushes. I would consider these blending brushes. And then there's two detail brushes that are in here. Another con I would consider is that the numbering is not the same, but at the same time it's understandable because it's F for faces and then E for eyes. So it's understandable that the numbering are different, but then the numbering is different to where it's like, this is in the 20s and this is in the 130s, which is weird for me. I mean, I guess it's because they're probably thinking about expanding the line so they don't want to mesh the two together. I hope they do come out with more brushes on this line because these brushes are really nice and really soft. That's about all the cons that I have. So let's go into each individual brushes and see what I use it for. I'm just going to grab it randomly. The first brush that I have here is the F. 25. The F25, I used it to set under my eyes. This did an amazing job setting under my eyes. It fits perfectly in between my eyebrows here and my nose area, my cupid's bow, my chin area, and then the F24. Well, at first, I used it for blush, but then it was too, to me, it was too small. And the way it was blending out my blush, it wasn't to the way I like it. So I decided to not use this brush, but I'm pretty sure you could use it for bronzer. I didn't use it for bronzer. For bronzer, I used the F22, F22, I use it for both bronzer and contour. I just mix the two together and I just blended it applied on really smoothly and really nice. And then the next brush that I used is the F23. This is supposedly foundation brush, but I didn't use it for foundation because I feel like it's not dense enough to blend out my foundation. I say if it was tighter, I think it would be good to blend out my foundation. So instead, I ended up using this for blush. It worked nice. It blended out really nice. The last face brush I have here is the F21 and I use this of course to apply powder all over my face and I also use it to wipe away the powder that I use to carve out my cheeks. It took a while maybe because I applied on so much powder but 
as you can see it came out nicely I mean I usually don't carve out my cheeks but I wanted to try and see if these brushes would work with that and it totally does too now on to the eye brushes so the first one I'm grabbing here is the 135 I use this brush to basically just blend out the edges of my crease color and it blended out really nice I also use it to blend after I applied on my high my brow bone highlight so that my brow bone highlight and my crease color blend together and uh, it looks nice to me I really like this brush because it's bigger than the crease brush that I use and in the crease brush that I use is the 136 and this brush just fits in perfectly into my crease it blended it out nicely I don't see a problem so far I really like all these brushes okay and in the next brush I used was the 138 I used this to set my eyeshadow primer and I also use it to tone down my brown highlight I applied a lot on my brown highlight so I use this to tone it down like blended it out and it works nice. I like this brush, especially since this angle. It's easy to get into the curve of my eyebrows. So I like this brush. And then the next brush that I use is the 137. I use this brush to highlight my brow bone. My brow bone. No, I use this brush to highlight my cheeks, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And this brush is really nice. At first, I was like, oh wait, I'm not sure out of the face brushes which brush would be good for highlight and the 137 is really good for highlight it is a little bit small but then to me I don't really mind because then I would know that it's really packed in there like the highlight that's really packed in there and when I blend it out it will blend out nicely on top of that applying it onto my nose is really nice too because it's so small the last brush here is 139 I use this brush to add um, depth into my inner and outer corners I use 136 to apply on the first color and then afterwards I was thinking about it and I was like no I needed to make it darker so that it matches more with the colors and everything and then the still that's the center of my eyelids will pop more so I ended up going in with 139 in a darker color and I just darken out the inner and outer corners and I also use it for my lower lash line and it blended out really nice it's really good I also used the 137 no 136 to blend it out and it blended out nicely I really like the combination of all these brushes so these are all the brushes and I did use every single brush lastly if you were to ask me would I recommend these I would say I definitely recommend these I really like these brushes the way I use them, it worked really well with the products that I use. I didn't seem to have a problem. And on top of that, I have washed them prior to using these brushes. And they're still really soft and really nice. And as you can see, they still work really well. So yeah, I do recommend this. And for $10, like, why not, girl? Okay, so that is all for my review and my recommendation of these brushes. Let's talk about something else. I don't know if you watched my previous video, but if you have and you watched it towards the end, then you would know that this is probably gonna be the same thing <laughs> yes 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 I have a surprise for you I am giving away a set <laughs> this is a brand new sew-in packaging sew-in the loud bag it's at that size so it's not so loud so this giveaway is going to begin today March 9th and it's going to end March 30th so you have two weeks to enter the rules to enter is really simple there's only three rules that I want you to do one subscribe and two comment down below what's your favorite color and then lastly three include your email with your comment so that I can contact you if you are the winner this giveaway is international so wherever you are in this world I am going to ship it to you don't worry about it also if you are under 18 please have your parents consent before you enter this giveaway I don't want you to win and then your parents say no or I don't want you to get Get this item and then your parents yell at you for it or they're like hmm are you sure this is not a bomb are you sure this is safe who would you get it from and you know your parents doesn't know me I don't want them to have any sort of speculation so please just have your parents consent before you enter this giveaway if you are under 18 I hope you are excited I mean I know I am excited so comment away because I am really excited for one of you to win this with that being said that is all for this review and this away <laughs> I hope you are as excited as, as I am because I am really excited I don't know if you can tell but I'm really excited because I'm having two giveaways and a month like that is amazing that is all for this giveaway and this review I hope you enjoy watching this video be sure to comment down below I really want to know I'll leave a link down below of Shop Miss A website and also the link for these brushes so yeah that is all for this video thank you so much for watching until next time bye 
if you're wondering which four brushes that I used from the other set, I used 132, 133, 131, and 134. I do have a review on these brushes. I'll leave a link down below if you want to watch the review. It's more in depth of me using these brushes. I'll tell you what I use these brushes for. So 132 I use for my inner corners, and then 133 I use for my eyebrows, and then 133. One I used to carve out my eyebrows and I also used to carve out the center of my eyelid. After I carved out the center of my eyes, I used 134 to fill it in with the pigment. These are the four brushes that I ended up using from the other set. Like I said, the link if you're interested to watch my review is down below.